Hey guys, what's up? Rek here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Quest video. Today I'm going to be showing you, in my opinion, what is the most effective way to be building your teams. So I'm going to be using my team as an example today, but I'll also show you some options because I know there's going to be people that see my team and they're like, well, yeah, you got two Mewtwo's, obviously. <laughs> but listen, all right, listen. I'm talking about the way the team works, not the actual Pokemon you use. So we're going to start at what, in my opinion, is the most important thing, and that is your support. So your support means Pokemon that has one ability, such as Barrier or Bulk Up, Amnesia, something like that that is giving the rest of your team boost. So here we have Chosen. This is my Machamp I use. He's actually not that good. Um, I'm just using him because I didn't have a better uh, Machamp laying around. So Machamp only has Bulk Up. That's the only move that he's able to use when I use Auto. For his three move slots, I'm using what is called a Sharing Stone. Sharing Stones are a way of giving other party members the buff that the Machamp receives. So when he uses Bulk Up, he will get the full buff of it. But because he has three of these, the other members in the team will get a 75% Bulk Up buff. So it's a cool way of him just powering up the rest of the team. That's his only job. All he needs to do is be spamming Bulk Up on cooldown and making sure that he stays alive. So the way that he stays alive is just off of his auto attacks. He has 50% crit hit rate, he's got 77% crit hit damage, these don't really matter. But natural healing is 204, his hit healing is at cap, which is 10%, it says 10.8, but it's it caps at 10%. And then he also has a healing from knockout, which isn't a huge deal. He's got a little bit of time to recover, HP upon recovery is an increase, and then resistance to effects is 100%. Um, this doesn't mean that he will never be affected by stuff, it just means that he's... Uh, Oh wait, no. Derp, I'm thinking of the wrong one. This is, uh, yeah, this makes it so he can't get like a negative defense or anything like that. So, yeah, this is Machamp. His bingo bonuses aren't that great. His own knockdown distance. He has fighting type move weight, which, I mean, arguably none of these help him at all um, compared to other tanks that you could run. But, like I said, he's what we're using now because it works. I have good stones for him, so it gets the job done. So that's the support bond that I use. So let's move into our attackers. Now, this is all subject to whatever you think is good. Um, this is what I personally like to see and what I like to run. So I run what I consider one physical attacker, and then I run one ranged attacker. So I'm running Mewtwo for both of these. This is the first one that I'm gonna go through. This is my ranged Mewtwo. So he's using Psychic. Psychic is a really cool kind of homing ability. When it shoots it out, it'll curve towards the Pokemon that it's gonna hit, and it hits multiple times. And what we're running with it is three Whack Whack Stones. These Whack Whack Stones will increase the amount of times that you can use this ability before it goes on cooldown, but it increases the wait time. So this Mewtwo will shoot off four Psychics before it goes on cooldown. That cooldown is going to be really long though. So imagine this is like our nuke. This uh, He does a lot of burst damage at one time, and then outside of that he's kind of just hanging out. So let's look at his bonuses that he has. So he has a movement speed increase, which I think is really important because he needs to be getting in position to actually be able to use uh, the Psychics. He's got a crit hit rate of 20%, and then he has attack of Psychic type moves by 20%. So these two rolls are really good. If I was going to change anything, I would actually roll off this crit hit rate to another 15% uh, Psychic type moves. Just because crit hit rate, we're getting a lot of it from our stones anyways. So he is, as you can see up here, we're already capped at crit hit rate. We didn't need that 20%. And we're also maxed on crit hit damage. So anything above this is just wasted. Natural healing is only 57. We have hit healing of 10%. Hit healing of knockout is 5. And of course we got that ne negative time to recovery. We got our HP upon recovery. And overall this is what I like for my ranged Mewtwo. One thing that I do want to let people know. And I get this question a lot on stream. People are like how come my crit hit rate is at 100% but I'm not critting every time. And this is kind of hard to explain, I don't know how to word it in a way that's going to make sense. But 100% increased crit rate means your existing crit rate is doubled. So if you have a natural, let's say you have a naturally 10% chance to crit, okay? By having a 100% crit hit rate, it will make it a 20% chance to crit instead of a 10%. You understand what I'm saying? It's giving you another 100% of your existing crit. I hope that makes sense. Because, uh, yeah, I get that question all the time. I, just imagine how broken that would be. If you could eat, if you crit every single time, it would just be insane. So this is our ranged Mewtwo. 
which leaves one more Mewtwo that we have, and this is our physical Mewtwo. This Mewtwo runs Psycho Cut, which is something I'm testing out right now. Psycho Cut is a dash, and then he does a cleave at the end, and I'm running it with two cooldown reductions and one broadstone. I would say this one does more burst damage in the sense of one hit will do 160k, right? And then he waits for a little while and then he'll do another one. The risk to this is because Psycho Cut actually does a dash, there is a chance that he'll miss it. So something to keep in mind. That's why we're trying out the one uh, broadstone. Um, something else to know about Psycho Cut, though, is you can't really run it with Whack Whack Stones. The reason I'm going to say that is because it will use the three dashes, but he won't change the direction that he faces. So using three Whack Whack Stones on Psycho Cut will a lot of times cause your, your Mewtwo to just run off to Africa. Um, and we'll go over here. And as you guys can see, same thing. Our crit hit rate is only 50%. I need to get that up. Crit hit damage is 100% and hit healing is 8%. This Mewtwo is kind of lacking right now just because I wanted... It's, it's so stupid but I wanted the other one to have all gold stones. So this one kind of this one kind of lacked it out on what he got. But again, he has that 20% increased damage to physical or to psychic type moves. Psychic type move wait time is down by 20% and then he has 50% movement speed again. So, let's uh let's find a Pokémon and we're going to make a build for it just to kind of walk you guys through it. So, let's say I didn't want to run this uh this Psycho Cut Mewtwo that we have. So, let's find something that I think would be good. So Hitmonchan here. Hitmonchan, let's see what, what moves you're rocking. Hitmonchan would be a good physical sweeper. So he has Drain Punch, which is pretty good. Um, it's not the best, but it'll work. Then we have, it looks like six offensive and three defensive, which is, this is a, normally about the most I would run. I feel like seven attack and two defense is too fragile. Anything, I mean, obviously nine zero would be God things would look at you and you would die and let's see what we have here for resistant to effect resistant to status condition crit hit damage okay cool so let us try this out so first of all let's switch this to hp so i have three slots open that i can use well i know i'm not using cloister right now this is going to give me hit healing of 3.7 and crit hit rate of 25 percent all right that, that's good that's good we'll use one of those um check this one so we have 2.5 hit healing and some more movement speed that'll do so we'll grab that and what's this one hp upon recovery and natural hp healing yeah we'll we'll use that one too so as of right now we have about what five percent on hit healing yeah 5.2 so we want to get another five percent on the rest of our stones so let's see what is this one resistance to effects i normally would use a gold stone here but this is 994 attack that's gonna be really good for us this one is healing from knockout, which is a 992. I won't stress that one too much. We should be okay. Um, let's see. What's this? Crit hit damage, resilience, crit hit rate. All right, we can take that. That'll be good. We're gonna, and as you can see, that just got us a bingo bonus. So we got that extra resistance. This one's gonna give us 2.4 hit healing. We got some crit rate and we got some resistance to effects. So mm, do I want this? Let's see what else we got. Crit hit rate, movement speed, we got resilience to effects, crit hit rate, healing for knockout. Okay, we'll grab this. This is, this is fine. We'll take that. So that gives us another bingo bonus. And let's see where we're sitting right now. So we have our crit rate hate, our, our crit hit rate is 69%, 25% on damage, and our natural healing is 57, and a hit rate of 8.6 on our healing. So let's see if we can find. A little more hit healing. Try not to take everything off of my other Pokemon here. All right, so here's a little bit more hit healing. This should get us to hit heal cap. Let's see. Yep, that puts us exactly at our 10%, so that's good. And we need one more thing to fill in this last spot. You know what? We're going to try out the, the 992. So at the end of the day, the setup that we have right now is hit chance or hit rate is 69. We have a hit damage of 54, and our hit healing is 10%. So let's test this out. Let's see what he can do. Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to put stones on him. Hold on. Let's go back. So we're going to grab our Hitmonchan, and we're going to go up here, and let's give him some stones. So he is using Drain Punch right now, which I assume works a lot like Psycho Cut. 
So we're going to go with one broadstone so we can get that extra range on it. And we'll do two CDR, which is the weightless stones. This is the this is the normal setup I like just because whack whack stones, like I said, I feel like you go out in the middle of nowhere half the time. And you know what? We're going to test this out on world 12-8. I could take this into um, the final boss, but I don't know if it'll be able to do it. Let's see. Did I get rid of the right one? Is this Psycho Cut? It is. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't replace my Psychic one with this. All right. Let us try this out and see if the boy, if the Hitmonchan with the setup that we just got can do this. I know the rest of the team is kind of going to be carrying him no matter what, but at least it'll still let me walk you through how the team's going to work together. So we'll go to 12-8. This is a 35,000. I didn't see what our team was at. My guess is it's probably like a 28. And I'm going to play on auto. My hand is off the controller right now. This team is going to do its own thing. So first up, we're going to see Machop, or sorry, Machamp is going to cast Bulk up here. There he goes. And now, wow, Hitmonchan is already down. That's not a good start. <laughs> he was a little late to get off the bulk up. Sometimes what you want to do is if you play on auto, you want to cast it at the start anyways. But the bulk up is on both Mewtwo and Machamp. So you'll see that Machamp is taking little to no damage whatsoever. And every time he hits, he heals back to full. Mewtwo already used all four of his uh, psychics, so he's just auto attacking for now. And there goes another one. Hitmonchan is back up. And hopefully Machamp will cast off another bulk up here to help out Hitmonchan. There it is. Okay. So now Hitmonchan's going to go in. And he's going to use that Drain Punch. Coming in clutch. Ooh. A little bit of knockback. Not a ton of damage. But he's trying his best. He's only hitting for like 8Ks right now. There's an 11. There's a 9. So as you can he's got pretty consistent damage. I wouldn't say he has as much burst as the Psycho Cut. <coughs> the Drain Punch hits for about 20K. So that's pretty good. And in the background, you see Mewtwo doing all of his psychics. So something to note about psychic or anything that you use a whack whack stone with, it's required to cast all four. So even if, say, these bosses die, Mewtwo will still cast his four psychics, even if they die on the first one. So there are times where it seems like Mewtwo's just wasting time standing in the middle of nowhere doing nothing. Let's see. Drain Punch. Wow, Drain Punch has a lot longer cooldown than I anticipated it did. And, I mean, you are going to playtest stuff, right? Like, you want to test it out and see what works and what doesn't. So, if I was going to redo this Hitmonchan, I might look at re-rolling uh, Drain Punch into something else. I don't know what else he has access to. Maybe if he had Close Combat, I would run Close Combat instead. Oh, look at that. We got a Zapdos. All right. I didn't see if we got any shells early, though. That should be interesting to see. All right. I missed the Drain Punch. That's a bummer. He's gonna get in there and get a little bit of healing though. Come on, heal up. I need you to, you need to actually hit something. And you missed your Drain Punch again. Come on, Chan, the point of this video was to show that any Pokemon can be good if it has the right team around it. And so far you've missed 90, there's a Drain Punch, 27K, a boy, and you're paralyzed. Good start, good start. Mewtwo's gonna be coming off cooldown here, and that should end it. Goodbye, Zapdos. So yeah, guys, that run took, uh, what is that? Two minutes, 35 seconds, which is uh, pretty quick. We got a gold stone as well, so maybe that'll be something good that we can put on Hitmonchan to fill that spot. What you got for me, bud? An 833 Mighty Stone. All right, not bad, I guess. Could have rolled better. And we did get two conch shells as well. Mystical stones to make a legendary if we really wanted to. But I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about team building, what Pokemon are effective, just let me know in the comment section. Um, I know my team is broken. It, my team is super strong, but for those of you guys who have been following my stream, we've been trying to get the fastest time possible on the boss. Our current time is 2 minutes and 11 seconds to beat the last boss. So I've been optimizing it with Mewtwo's. We've been testing out some different Pokemon. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace, guys.